Hi there, my name's Ryan McCartney. Hi Ryan, please come. Hi, nice Ryan. to meet you. Nice lovely. to meet you, and I'm, I'm really looking forward till tonight. That's great. Lovely. That's good. Hi, lovely. Lovely. Can you join on Zoom? Because we're, we're starting now. So. Thank you very much. Just click on the Zoom link for us there. Yeah, all right, bye. So we have 12 people so far. Good. How many, two minutes ago? I think it would be a good idea when we start, if someone could keep an eye on the waiting room as well. Yeah, Oscar is case. keeping an eye on everyone. Yeah, yeah. Just in case someone turned up a little bit late, you know. It's nice to hear from Ryan. It's now <coughs> seven o'clock. And, and, uh, so I think we should start now and admit people as they arrive. I, yeah, maybe. It's seven o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Shall I start now? I don't Some people are coming in. Yeah. Is Faresh the idiot, Linda? She is joy. She just rang me and I explained to her to mm. click on the Zoom link. That okay. we sent her. Okay. okay, shall we start now? So I think Bulu is going to introduce the event, and I think he should start now. Okay, off you go. Marhaba, hello, namaste, sasrikal to all over the world. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and etc. etc. A very, very warm welcome to everybody to the first of the six workshops led by Inner Vision Orchestra musicians. And after that, I'm going to introduce you to our CEO. Linda Shanson. Thank you. Thank you, Balu, for coming. And my name is Baluji Srivastav, yes. Okay, well, welcome everyone. A special thanks to our funders as well Garfield Weston, the Vision Foundation, and Chapman Charitable Trust for funding this wonderful series of workshops. And the first is. Um, Ziad, who is an incredible member, a core member of the Innovision Orchestra. And he has given workshops at Plymouth University and several other places. So you're going, you're in for a treat to an introduction to Arabic music. And we have five more workshops on Wednesday evenings between now and May the 12th. And you can find out when those are on www.balujimusicfoundation.org and a series of six concerts coming up where you'll be able to hear Ziad and the other musicians also that are going to give these workshops. So now I'm going to hand over to our maestro Ziad, who you can hear playing beautifully in the background. So over to you Ziad. Okay, uh, good after uh, afternoon. <laughs> good, <laughs> good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm very thrilled, really, uh, to give this uh, workshop and uh, to be actually the first one to do this. Uh, but before we actually start, I would like to thank uh, Baluji Music Foundation, uh, also. Uh, headed by Baluji and uh, the great, lovely Linda uh, for, for, for making this happen. And I also like to thank the funders. Um, forgive me, I, I, you know, I, I, don't know, I don't know the names much, but anyway, you know yourselves, the good guys. Um, and a special, special big thanks to, 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 to Oscar. 
also who really has worked with us really hard to make sure that all the settings are correct, this and that, you know, it's a big, big, big thank you for, for Oscar. So now, as we got the thank you out of the way, as you probably know that um, everybody is, is on mute, um, so to, to minimize background noise, um, but as we go in, you might uh, need to uh, feel free to write anything for us in the chat, that would be great. And maybe, maybe there will be a Q&A session uh, towards the end. Okay, right. Now, um, what I thought um, this workshop is really primarily talking about Arabic music, um, some of the basic fundamentals of Arabic music, some of the differences between Arabic and Eastern uh, and Western music. Uh, here, you know, might cover some rhythms, scales, etc., etc. Um, so, and then, as I said, at the end, there'll be a bit of Q and A's, but before also I start to do that, I am going to introduce uh, myself. Maybe some, uh, quite a lot of people here who, who know me, they are, you know, really great fans. And uh, to those who don't know me, okay, uh, my name is Ziad. Now, I am a British Lebanese. I have been here in this country for more than I can remember, maybe 35 years. Um, so anyway, the way um, I uh, got involved with uh, the Inner Vision Orchestra was as a pure uh, chance and coincidence, right? Back in 2012, um, I was on my way to uh, an exhibition at High Street Kensington, uh, site village uh, exhibition. I'm sure everybody knows about that. Um, and as I was standing on the street and um, a lady came to me and said to me, uh, are you going to the, to the exhibition? Do you know where it is? So eventually it happened to be Linda. And I said, yes. So she grabbed my arm because, you know, she didn't know much of the area. And then as we were on the way, she told me, look, you know, I have my husband here, he's a, a composer. And she told me more, she, she told me more about in a vision orchestra. And from there uh, on, you know, we spent that exhibition, Baluji and me together. Uh, then uh, because I live quite local uh, near, near High Street Kensington. So I brought him here home. I showed him my setup. We had played some music and he said, you know what? We are pleased to have you as a member of in a vision orchestra. And um, you know what? This, is, uh, this can't be more beautiful than that. It's an absolute privilege for me to be a member of, uh, with, of in a vision orchestra. Um, in a vision orchestra, to me, we are all a family, one family. It's a, it's a unique way of life. Um, and uh, then after that, I joined the Para Orchestra. And, uh, you know, when we went to Qatar, the Paralympic or the Olympic ceremony, and so on. So without really boring you too much about me, uh, let's start talking about uh, the Arabic music. You know, uh, music has been with us human beings uh, for more than anybody could ever remember. Uh, any sound you make, it's a music. Uh, animals, any sound that animals can make, it is music, any, anything. So, uh, and uh, then, uh, obviously, uh, we have the, the Arabic music. Um, what we are going to do here is uh, I'm going to talk about um, the fundamental differences between Arabic and Western music. Now, um, the philosophy, if, 
if you want to see it, say it this way, of, uh, of uh, Western music is, is harmony, chords, triads, call them whatever you want to call them, you know. Um, but uh, the fundamentals of the Arabic music is um, grace notes, you know, um, and uh, also another um, s s fundamental difference is, um, I will start by uh, showing you in real action. Now, let's say in Western music, if we take a scale, you know, C major, okay, that's a basic, you know, so mm -hmm. which is... So this is a C major scale, okay? Now, in Arabic music, where well, yes, okay, you guessed it, we have it, C major scale, but in Arabic, we call it ajam. So I'm going to play quickly uh, something uh, in Arabic to, uh, in, in the C major scale to, for you to feel the taste. Um, دخلك يا طير الورور رح لك من صوب مشوار وسلم لي على الحبايب وخبرني بحال شو صار. So this is a C major scale. You can see how uh, it, it depends on melody more uh, than. I mean, nowadays because of technology, but this is something really big. We're not going to talk about that too much now, but you know, we're talking about fundamentals. Now there is lots of chords and integration between Arabic and Western music. So um, then if we move on um, to another scale in Western music that we would have, a uh, minor scale, we call it in Arabic, Nahawand, and everybody knows um, C minor scale, you know, let's stick for C at the, for the moment, right? So, okay, so again, I'm going to give you uh, a quick song here uh, in Arabic. Yeah, yeah, عيونها لوزية حبك من قلبي يا قلبي وانت يا عيني بحبك من قلبي يا قلبي وانت يا عيني So this is a C minor scale okay uh, and I'll stop here a little bit by saying you know obviously um, you know you have the um, what do you call them uh, transpose you know from different um, places like you know you could have it e minor uh, e major and so on you know um, now if we uh, move on to another fundamental scale in arabic music um, and here is the difference okay um, so you see in arabic uh, in, in in western music most commonly, you are going up and down the scale like um, tone, tone, uh, semitone, uh, tone, tone, and so on and so forth. Now, in Arabic music, we have what's called quarter tones, okay? And I'm going to de de demonstrate to you what is a quarter tone. So if we take C major scale, which is no. Okay, this is all natural. Now, uh, the quarter tone will be here on the E. So it would be, if you think about it, halfway between E and E flat, right? So if I give you some... It is different if we do it in major scale, it's going to be something like. I'm sure you can tell, uh, you can tell the differences. 
right? Now, um, at this point, is there any question at all? Carry on, okay. So um, we move on to another fundamental scale. Uh, and this is where the, you know, the, the, the fat bit, I guess, comes in place, you know, the quarter notes, uh, uh, the quarter tones is called Bayat. Okay, now, um, so this starts uh, from D, okay? Um, very similar to E minor, the, the, the only thing is the E here will be the quarter tone and the B also will be a quarter tone. So uh, I'm going to also demonstrate that you play happy song, cheerful songs, okay? Now, uh, we've got Hijaz, okay? The most common Hijaz scale, uh, again, it starts from... Uh, sorry, can, can, you, uh, can someone read the chat out for me? Uh, Linda? Yeah, we have, we have, we have, we have, we have, we have. Oh! Oh yeah, <laughs> that's good. It's asking uh, if you. Oh, sorry. It's asking if you can get a quarter tone on a Western keyboard. Western keyboard. Oh, this. Is, thank you. This is very, very good question, actually. Um, well, you know what? The answer is yes and no. Okay. Now, yes, because. Um, on, let's, let's think about um, a keyboard, um, like, you know, those electronic keyboards. The companies have to do some modification for the temperaments of the scale, you know, because, uh, but if you think about, say, the piano, uh, well, I mean, you know, if we're talking about acoustic piano, that's a little bit too hard, if, if that makes sense, okay? Now, I remember, if we also think about the guitar, you know, when I used to play guitar back in Lebanon, um, you can get quarter tones, okay, by inserting additional uh, thread, kind of, you know, between, um, say, between, uh, on the E uh, compartment of the scale, um, and then you just put your, your finger a little bit down, you know, where the, that thread is, and then you will get um, a, a quarter sound. Obviously, that applies to all the notes, you know, I'm talking here about the, you know, like E, F, uh, A, uh, you know, C, we, we, this is where you need to put your fingers on the thread, okay? So, yeah, thank you very much for asking this question. Now then, um, if we go back to another scale, okay, Hijaz, Hijaz, um, this one also, if we start from D, uh, and then we have the E flat, F sharp, G, A, um, now uh, B is also quarter note, and 
octave D, okay? Uh, now, I'll try to give you also a demonstration song on in this scale. Um, so another similar one, another similar scale to Hijaz is called, oh, before I move on to the other, the other scale, I, you know, this one has got lots of love, you know, it's used for um, uh, love poems, this Hijaz scale, you know. Um, yeah, so it's very kind of uh, romantic scale, maybe. Now, another close Hijaz, uh, scale to Hijaz is called Nakriz, okay? Now, all uh, the, the, the notes are the same, but it starts from C and ends in C, something like this. Also going to uh, sing just quite a few, and also this is used for. for uh huh. Okay. How is that now? Yeah. So I'm going to sing something here. How will you? talking here about the fundamental ones um, there is also um, yeah another one rust now this one is uh, like the C major uh, starts from C the accidental or the quarter would be the um, the E and the B and it's going to be something like that my email sorry uh, okay so yeah this is also uh, used in parties you know especially sitting at night listening to music that's the rust scale now Sega um, starts from an E but the E quarter tone yeah and it will be E quarter tone F G and then the A is flat B, C, D, and then the E, also uh, quarter tone. Now, another song will be something like
So really, I think these are uh, the most uh, common scales here in Arabic music I tried to cover. Um, and there are more and more, you know, that I cannot think of how many, uh, but uh, depends on the country. And sometimes you have mixed, um, like what we call compound scale, you know, it might be a combination of uh, maybe uh, Nahawand, you know, which is the C minor, and um, another thing, you know, but uh, let's keep things now um, short and sweet and simple, okay? Now, um, you know, see, normally what we used to do before the pandemic and um, uh, you know, we used to go on tour and I, when I used to do all these workshops, um, I was able to get people to interact with me now and then. Um, like, for example, if I say to guys, okay, you know what, let's do the Bayat scale, you know, I would say, do something like, uh, and then, you know, the audience would say the same, uh, and then I'll go like, uh, e, but obviously, if we do this in Zoom, um, you know, things will be uh, all over the place. So anyway, you know, uh, hopefully when we exit of lockdown, and there's no more Corona, then uh, you will be able to see us for real and, you know, you'll be interacting with us and that'll be our pleasure. So now, here I try to uh, cover as much as I can of the scales in Arabic. And now after um, this explanation, you can see a little bit the, the differences, one of some of the basic differences between Arabic and Western music. Um, now, if we talk about rhythm also briefly, see, I'm not, um, a drummer, as we say, as, as it were, but uh, I'll try to explain a little bit, you know, obviously each music has to uh, go with a rhythm, okay? Now, um, the, the, the most common ones are, say we have um, uh, maksum, four, four, dum, tak, tak, dum, tak, dum, tak, tak, dum, tak, you know, uh, and then we also have a uh, ballady, still 4-4, four, four, but uh, the number of beats and doms and tacks, that's what we call them. You know, the strong one, the dom, is uh, the, the strong beat is called dom. And the uh, less strong one, this one, like, there's thumb and sack, dom, tack, sack, okay? So the ballady one, um, is dum dum taka taka dum taka 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 dum dum taka taka dum taka taka you know also uh, we have malfuf dum taka taka 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 um there's laws laws but i'm just here um talking about the the, the very basic ones you know wherever you go um, in the Middle East. Oh, good, good. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for listening. Um, so wherever you go in the Middle East, you hear these rhythms, you know. And as I said in the beginning, because of, of, of music, uh, of, of technology, you know, uh, you know, you can get keyboards and produce all these sounds and the uh, manufacturers have, um, well, not all of them, I wish they're all of them, but uh, obviously, you know, they're making, they make these to make money and wherever the market is, um, you know, we're talking maybe some uh, keyboards, some Korg keyboards, some Yamaha keyboards, uh, some Roland keyboards. Also, they do have these, um, uh, ability to change temperaments. Um, and then um, it's, it's done that way. So 
Yeah, when you go into the Middle East, anywhere, you hear all this kind of music, the rhythms, the, those sounds. Now, what I have here um, is something very uh, kind of, uh, I have here uh, on my computer, I install uh, Logic, Logic Pro on the Mac, and um, I managed to find a way um, like if we call it like a workaround uh, to be able to produce those quarter notes on, uh, you know, using logic. Um, this is what I do most of the time here. If I am not touring, if I'm not giving workshops, um, I come back home um, and uh, I record a music that I used to like when I was back in Lebanon. Um, that means I assembled everything like uh, percussion, uh, strings, piano if need be, guitar, uh, wind instrument, uh, for any familiar song that I like, and I would sing on top. I also sing, also, I make uh, my own songs, uh, I compose, I write lyrics. Um, I have a YouTube channel. Um, and I'm gonna say this, the name for, if, if we have any Arabic audiences here. Uh, it's called Lamasat Ziyadiya, Ziyad Ishtaj. That's my uh, YouTube channel. Um, and uh, yeah, you see, that's what uh, I spend most of the time doing. It gives me a lot of pleasure, especially now with the lockdown. Um, you know, rather than uh, sitting at home, uh, worrying, yes, okay, we have to, to protect ourselves, this, that, but um, we always, always have to be uh, positive. And uh, I always thank, uh, you know, Baluji and Linda uh, and the Inner Vision Orchestra family uh, for, for, for being for us all together, you know, they are for they are there for us. We are we are there for them. Um, so really, you know, I think I have done. Mm, I think I have done a lot of talking. So I am going to uh, sing a little bit. Uh, but this one is going to be uh, on the piano because I play the keyboard here. Can you sing some takasim for us as well? Oh, takasim. Oh, thank you, Linda. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay, I'll do some takasim actually on the wood before I go on to the piano. I think I might have mentioned it in the beginning. Um, uh, grace notes, you know, in the in the uh, Arabic music is a big thing. Like you know, a grace notes or something like this. You know, uh, this is a big um, philosophy in, in in Arabic music. So okay. Yeah, Oh, sorry. Ya lili ya lili ya ya lil ya lil ya lil ya lil ya lil
لهني كبروا لحلا بينا صغار تعنا نتخبى من درب الامار اذا هني كبروا لحلا بينا صغار سالونا وين كنتوا وليش ما كبرتوا انتوا ومن قلوا ننسينا سالونا وين كنتوا وليش ما كبرتوا انتوا من قلوا ننسينا واللي نادى الناس تكبروا الناس راحوا على المينا يا ترى فينا ضل يدور بينا ده ننسى اساميهم ننسى اسامينا So now, uh, actually, this this the last one wasn't really planned. Um, it's just just the spirit of the moment, you know. So anyway, uh, as we were talking about Corona, um, and uh, lots of people have had uh, have kind of panic to start with what to do during lockdown. I made a song for my Arabic uh, audiences. Uh, it's called Khaliq Bil Bayt, Stay at Home. So let me, I'm going to disappear for a minute just to put my oud on the table. Okay, now. So uh, the song really encourages everybody uh, to stay at home, and if you are bored, uh, you know, just read a book, call your family, your friends. As you can see, I'm going to change position here to go to the keyboard. Um, let me just check. Um, do you hear my? Do you hear my keyboard? Let me see. I can hear it. Yep, yeah, yeah, good, cool, cool. So, yeah, so uh, I, now I'm going to sing Khaliq Bil Bayt. Stay at home. Don't be crazy. We love you. We don't want you to die. Stay with us. Uh, when you are bored, um, read a book, call your family and friends and pray that we'll pass this together. خليك بالبيت لا تكون مجنون بتصيبك كورونا ويمكن تموت بلا لك ظهرات بلا لك حفلات ضلك معنا ما بدنا تموت خليك بالبيت لا تكون مجنون بتصيبك كورونا ويمكن تموت بلا لك ظهرات بلا لك حفلات ضلك معنا ما بدنا تموت لو داءك خلقك اشكر ربك لانه ما عندك كورونا اقرا بكتابك احكي مع اصحابك امك بيك اخواتك لو داءك خلقك اشكر ربك لانه ما عندك كورونا اقرا بكتابك احكي مع اصحابك امك بيك اخواتك ضلك صلي ودايما قول رب احفظنا من المجهول ضلت صلي ودايما قول رب احفظنا 
من المجهول خليك بالبيت خليك بالبيت There you go So uh, and this brings us uh, to the end of this first workshop uh, I hope uh, you uh, find it beneficial and enjoyable as much as I found it so by giving it uh, this workshop to you and I really really hope to see you soon when uh, lockdown comes to an end where we'll be back to normal and touring the whole UK going up and down the country and uh, we'll meet you all together so um, Feel free if you want to uh, to chat um, or if you have any questions. So yeah, yeah, ask a question. Hello, Ziad. Hello, Balu. How are you? I'm absolutely wonderful. Fine, thanks. <clears throat> like everybody else, I have got questions and uh, also some yeah, just comments. So this last song we when you sang, yeah, what what was the scale in there? Da, da, da. Oh, well, you know, you should know as a musician. <laughs> no, serious speaking, it says... I, I'm asking question for everybody else as well. Ah, okay. Well, it's, it's a C minor scale. Nahawand. Nahawand, okay. Yes. Okay, and last song when you sang in um, after Takasim, that was in Rust. Um, yes, yeah. Brilliant, that was in Rust, yeah. Top of the class, Baloo. Top of the class, am I? Okay. Well, you know, you know guys, Baloo is, uh, is a genius musician. Really? Yes, yes. I don't are. believe it. Uh, I don't believe him. Who is he? Well, you know what? Don't worry, don't believe it. As long as we believe it, that's fine. Okay, anybody else can ask questions, please? I would like yes. to. Um, yeah, Zia, thank you very much. It's very enjoyable. Thank you. Just Going to ask you what is the tuning of the oud? Yes, that's a, who, who am I speaking to? Um, name's Colin. I just I play guitar and I just wondered what your tuning was. Oh, hi, Colin. Hi, you know, yes, uh, that's a very good question, actually. Now, um, actually, the oud, this, this one I have has got uh, six strings. Normally, the most common ones you would find with five. Yeah. And, um, um, you know, the, 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 they are, think of a 12 string guitar, that's how they are. Um, so tuning wise really is uh, if we go from the top, you know, from the thickest string to the thinnest, yeah. the one that I have here is a C, uh, like bass G, uh, you know, yeah. and then F and then A, uh, D, G, and a C. And is is that the standard tuning for a six-string oud? Yes. Um, not really. Uh, again, you see, it depends where you are in the Middle East. Say, for example, in Arabic, um, Egypt, Lebanon. Yes, pretty so. But if you are in Turkey, right. um, the tuning is different. If you are in Iran, uh, the tuning is a little bit different as well. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Can I yes, uh, also, Ziad? Yes, sir. Can I ask you another question? Sure. You have introduced us to the rhythms, which is wonderful for me too, because when you say, I like this rhythm, but you didn't, never told us the name. And thank you very much for that. But you didn't introduce what instruments are used in Arabic world for the rhythm and also for melodies, apart from oud. Are there any instruments you use? And also, second question, I think we inner vision musicians love multi-instrumentalists like you are. You have introduced keyboard and wood, but do you play any other instruments? And if you play, why do you play? Well, okay, you know what? First of all, uh, you have uh, have got about five, six questions in one. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly, because I uh, not seven, because there are seven notes. Okay, so um, anyway, you know, so, so I try to answer as much um, as I can. So 
Now, why did I not explain so that you can ask me to come and do more of these workshops? <laughs> and then I'd be more than happy to do them. Wow. So that's number one. So, and what, what, you, told, what, what you asked about um, uh, the other instruments, um, now, uh, I, uh, my original instrument, you know, I really learned the violin to start with. Uh, back in Lebanon, um, so then I was hoping to go to, to study at uh, what we call conservatoire, college of music, you know, music studies. But because we had uh, the war, the sad war in Lebanon, uh, I couldn't do that. Now, my parents were so encouraging and so supporting for me, bless them for me. Um, they encouraged me. And then when I asked for piano, they got me one. Uh, I asked for oh, they got me. I asked for guitar, they got me. Uh, so I play, you know, um, yes, so many instruments there as well. You didn't say violin, do you? I, we have heard you. I did, but you were sleeping, sir. Yeah, I am sleeping. How about the canoon? The canoon, yeah, it's very, um, no, no, I don't, uh, I haven't tried it yet, but it's also very uh, <coughs> fundamental instrument in the Arabic orchestra, yes. And think yes. of the nai also, which is very similar to flute, but it's called nai. It's made of sugar cane, also it's... Um, sugar uh, cane? Yeah, sugar cane, yeah, you know. Is it that sweet as well when you play? Well, you're not supposed to eat it, sir. You know, you're just supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> but we can hear sweet music. Hmm? Well, but, you know, you can hear me, and then you get sweet music. Wonderful. Yeah. And, see, and see, is... Ed, <coughs> what is the name of the drums, the Arabic drums? Ah, um, there are many. Um, tabla or, or, or darbuk or darbaki, it depends where you are in the Middle East. Um, this is one, the one that, and then uh, you have also tangerine, it's called death. And then you've got another types of um, uh, tangerine, you know, like uh, they call it mazhar. So yeah, there are quite few of them. And in some places, <coughs> they are more used than other places. And can I ask you, Ziad, who is your favorite Arabic? singer and who is your favorite Arabic instrumentalist? And don't say Linda Shanson. Well, you know something, um, actually I was going to say me, but no, I shouldn't be saying that. Um, uh, so really my favorite singer, uh, I've got quite a few. Uh, my uh, favorite female singer, uh, there are two, is Fayrouz, I'm sure you know. Hey! hey. Yeah. And Um Kulthum, uh, you know, uh, she's, she's all time my favorite singer. Um, you know, very old Egyptian singer. She's the top there. And she's no longer with us anyway. And my uh, all time favorite male singers, um, also quite a few, Muhammad Abdul Wahab, Egyptian. He's, he's what we call the master of, of music, you know, because in those days, you know, back when he started in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, he, and considering how things were in terms of connection with the rest of the world so difficult, he managed to do a lot of integration and, uh, you know, between Arabic and uh, Western music. Muhammad Abdul Wahab, yes. Yeah, he's one of my favorites. How many musicians you have played with in Arabic countries? Oh, more than I can think of. I did play with loads, you know. Uh, but um, again, here's the thing, you see. I, when I came to, uh, to, to, the, to the UK, I came to, to, uh, to study something totally different in music because, you see, when you are a young man um, and knowing what the, the circumstances in Lebanon are like, so you really um, want to pursue a career that, you know, you'll be able to support a family. You know, you want to make a family, have children, all that. So I left music uh, for more than 25 years, but I only started again back in uh, 2012 when we met you guys. Oh, that's, we are very lucky. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, I, you know, I am lucky actually, but that is my dream, you know. And where would you recommend people to go to listen to Arabic music if you live in London, for example? Uh, to Ziad's house. Absolutely, you're yeah, more than welcome. Uh, uh, Very good. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Very yeah. good. Yeah. Could, I, could Road, I? Edgewood Road, uh, Queensway, uh, mainly yes. uh, a little bit of Earlsforth, you know, where there are uh, quite a big Arabic uh, speaking community. Could I ask a question uh, if it's possible? You know the uh, the song that you played there about the corona yes. virus. Yes. Is there any possibility of getting that in English? The words Adi? in English. Am I speaking to Adi? Uh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Hi. Sorry about that. Yeah. Ryan. Ryan. Yes. You know, Ryan. The, the first of all, really thank you for the question and uh, love you for lovely for for you having uh, having you here, but. Um, Yes. The thing is, um, what I could do is, you see, because if you are translating, then it would lose mm -hmm. um, some of the ideas. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, so, yeah. Is, um, you know, I could, uh, if you are interested, I could uh, maybe just um, write a couple of lines about the idea of that song. Um, yes, that would be I good. That will be good. And, and by the way, I really enjoy, enjoyed tonight. It was very good. That's great. It's really lovely so, to have you here. Yeah. And I shall see you, uh, is it next week? Another, uh, sorry. Hold on a minute. Um, so no. what is the next workshop is mm -hmm. on Wednesday, March the 17th. That's Kate Portal and she'll be giving a workshop on okay. St. Patrick's Day. But okay, if, yes. if you want to hear Ziad again, he mm -hmm. will be performing on April the 17th with Fereshte Khusro Jerdi, who's a wonderful Iranian singer and ballet. Okay. Yeah. Oh, very can good. I, very good. Can I ask, also ask you one musical question, Ziad? Yes, sir. Um, so first of all, I'll ask you a musical question, then I will sing you a song, which is very important for me. Okay. If you don't mind. The so, musical question is, is there any limitations of how many, you mentioned quarter tones in Arabic music, how many quarter tones are? All together, I mean, from the beginning to the end, from in one octave. The uh, thing is, balloon, it depends on the uh, can you scale. Can you come close to the mic, uh, Ziad, please? Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah. How, is that better now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, really, you know, you can make as much as you want, as many as you want, depend on the scale you are in, really, you know. Uh, it's sad we've seen some people leaving the meeting, but, you know, I hope that um, they enjoyed it. It's Kate Portal. Could I ask a question, um, uh, Hi, Kate, how are you? Uh, hello, I'm fine. I wondered, um, I might have missed this because I didn't hear for a short time, but I just wondered, um, you mentioned that, uh, for example, your Corona song, that you play it to Arabic audiences. And I wondered if you broadcast it or if you, how you do uh, that. On my YouTube or, channel, or, yes. On my YouTube channel. Ah, still, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also, has an Ud got fret like a guitar or not? You know, this is a good thing. Uh, actually, I'm going to bring the oud again, um, and uh, I'm going to put it on camera. And as I do so, I'm going to describe it to those who don't know what it is like. And that would cover also the strings uh, that you asked about. Yeah, just... Thank you, Kate. That was a wonderful question. Absolutely. Thank you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, now um, I am back here. Um, I'm gonna go back. So, um, to sighted people, can you see that old now clearly? Yes. Yes. I can. Okay. You can. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> I can see it. Sorry. In the vision. Yeah. Okay. So really, uh, the front of the old 
Uh, and I'm going to describe it here to uh, non-sighted people, is like a um, half pear shape uh, with a stem at the top. Now, the stem is where the neck is, where you put your fingers to play the scale. Um, now, and also on top, there are the keys uh, to tune the instrument with the strings. Now, if I turn it around the other way, it's got like um, uh, a half circle around the belly. That's one of those uh, designs. Um, so, and then what you do is when you play the oud, you put it on your uh, right knee and, um, uh, you know, it would be on your right hand side, then, uh, can you see here where my uh, hand is, my right hand with the, with the pick? So you put it on the right hand side, you know, on the strings you play. Um, and then you play with your, 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 the notes will be on the, you know, you change notes with your left hand on the scales. Now, string wise, um, actually, yes, um, if we, they are made of uh, nylon uh, and some other material. Um, and the, the, the wood is mainly made of um, uh, mahogany wood. Um, and uh, the keys are made of beech and, you know, it's a combination of wood. It's not only one one type of wood, really. And as we explained, uh, so if we take, for example, uh, the C string, the top one, so it's pear string. You see, it's tuned in unison. And the same, but except the bottom one, that this C, is um, only one single string. And Oud is very, very famous for no fretting. Yeah, so you haven't got frets. So no, no, exactly. Yeah, no, so you can play like a violin or something. Yeah, so you can play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you see, here's the thing, Kate. Uh, for sighted people, um, obviously, you know, uh, they don't probably have got good ear. There are some dots on the mm -hmm. on the neck of the oud uh, to give them kind of indication where they should place their yeah. fingers. Yeah. But anyway, you know, it, it's just a matter of personal opinion. Um, I always believe that a musician should have. A, I'm not going to say perfect pitch, but at least reasonable amount of pitch. So but that's, that's my opinion, really. Ziad, is it? Um... I know, is it difficult to tune? Well, you see, thank you for, uh, uh, it's a very interesting question, you see, because no, it's not difficult because uh, when you get, when you have um, in a, a kind of pitch, you know, okay, then you would feel that you need to tune your instrument. And, um, you know, it's, it's like every uh, thing in, in this life, you know, you, you play the guitar and, uh, you know, you get, used to tune it, you don't really think about it, if it is difficult or not, you know? No, but I was just, because it's, because it looks, there are similarities to a, to a lute, to a Western lute, yes. which, which are notoriously difficult to tune. And I just wondered if it, if it was the same kind of problem or if it's something yeah, quite easy. Yeah, I got you. See, to be honest, I haven't seen or touched lute for, as in life, you know, but what I can say, is because of the yeah, two per string, you need you need to focus more. You know, say for example, you know you are in a uh, in a gig, right, and um, you are trying tuning your instruments. Uh, you need to focus a little bit more. I mean, you can't just you know try to tune your instrument and everybody is playing their horns, uh, yeah. their trumpets, all that. So just a little bit more focus. You know? Okay, thank you. Great. So now can I sing the song? Yes, of course. Mm, give me C. 
जुरूनी explain the meaning of um, this song in english and that will explain why did i sing this song visit me at least once a year hey, hey. <laughs> and with that i would say thank you ziad very very much for giving us seventh heaven uh, and we we know that Arabic uh, world is called third world, but I'm sure it's the first world of the music which you have presented to us. It's my pleasure. Again. And also, when I'm thinking, I should also thank the next to me sitting is the CEO, Linda Shanson. Yeah. And also, thanking to a manager of the Innovision Orchestra, Lindsay Island. Uh, which without without them it's not possible and the other one is oscar castellino who is a wonderful engineer yeah. and also very well trained opera singer yeah, oh, yeah. and also i'm i'm really thanking you all everybody else and who have come they are most i'm very grateful to them and who haven't come I'm also grateful to them because they will come to my workshop whenever it happens. Yeah. People will be able to listen to the YouTube um, recording. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. And um, I I'm hope that a lot of people who have played Arabic music before will be able to go on and enjoy listening to more, especially to come and listen to Zia. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, Ziaz. Thank you very much. I'm very happy for for you people. You have enjoyed it, um, and at least you gained some, uh, at least some basic knowledge of uh, of Arabic music. Um, and uh, I'm very happy to, uh, to 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 give this kind of workshop in life in future, and to see you again, guys, in future. Welcome and looking forward to see you next year, according to the song, yeah. and every year. Thank well, you, dear. Want, you, you are Thank going to you, see me. Linda. Very enjoyable. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Hello, you are going to see me next Thank month. You. Not next year. Thank you. I said according to the song. Uh, well, according to the song, but you know, leave the song aside. We okay. are going to see you in the um, uh, 17th of April concert. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Well, 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 I am reminding here everybody to make oh, sure thank that you. they go there. You know, we'd love to see as many of you as possible. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Please Bye. log on to Bye. the Bye. Bye. please Bye. log on to the BalutiMusicFoundation.org for further information. Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye.